Hello, hello, and welcome back Woo! to more Phoenix Wright, Ace Turney. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! yeah. Um, before we get too far in, because I always forget to do this at the top of the stream when I'm, when it's just <laughs> me and Archer, um, uh, in case you don't know, we are the cast of, uh, Giro Productions production of Turnabout Musical Virtual Edition, or we're members of the cast. This is not everybody. We have more people. Um, oh, we promise. <laughs> we promise there are more of us. Um, if we want to start at the bottom and work up on uh, introducing ourselves today, spice things okay. up. Hello, uh, I'm Robin, they, them. Uh, Hi, in the, Robin. The, <laughs> in Hi, the Robin. defense cast, uh, I am playing Winston Payne, Young Larry, Polly, and Ensemble. And in the prosecution cast, I am playing Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Broadway Man 23. Hi, uh, my pronouns are... Man. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> my pronouns are he slash him, and I am playing both Marvin Grossberg, <clears throat> my voice, and the judge in both casts. My name is Archer, my pronouns are Zizim or he, they, and I am in the defense cast. I am April May and Lotta Hart, and I am also the co-director. Yeah. And here's me realizing I forgot to take my meds. My name is Kate. <laughs> I use she, they pronouns, and in the- Hi, Kate. <laughs> and in the- Hi, Kate. <laughs> in the defense- <laughs> defense cast i am playing manfred von karma and in the prosecution cast i am playing miles edgeworth and i am also one of your ah one of your co-directors mm. drugs so today's lineup actually worked out pretty fortunately considering what we're doing um in, today we are taking on the first day of trial in turn about goodbyes and we're you know, we're gonna see how that goes <laughs> yep let's go all right i'm extra flummy today so this should be fun this is, yeah, we're gonna... i'm a little flimmy as well so. hey flam club flam club flam club flam club all of our yeah. all of our voices are dead let's go <laughs> December 26, 9.44 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Woo! Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He is a god of prosecution right. A god! No, not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <sighs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. Fucker. <laughs> he taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Ugh. So, so he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out! Forget it. N not a chance, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. He hasn't lost once in 40 know, right? years. <laughs> For <laughs> 40 years! He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty... 
pretty ruthless. Edgeworth, you're making me do a lot of math at nine in the morning. <laughs> it, it's, it's too early for this shit, man. I, I'm... <laughs> like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like what Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could, uh, really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh... Hmm? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? Maya, she's not cookies on the top shelf. <laughs> she's I a dead how woman. She is. It helps me. It helps me channel better. <laughs> it's my coping I'm mechanism. Not trying to reach. It's my coping <laughs> mechanism. <laughs> to imagine that jar of Oreos just too far. I don't know. I got weird coping me coping them the them the coping <laughs> mechanisms. <laughs> I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. Phoenix, you are an insensitive dick in canon. <laughs> it really is. It's so mean. Yeah, he is. That's so mean. I'm really sorry. You're useless to Try me, Maya. <laughs> I hope so. I. <laughs> oh man. Right, what the me? fuck? So. <laughs> what are you whispering about? Uh, oh, oh, it's uh, nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. To your death sentence! Yay! Yay! <laughs> December 26, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number three. I really wish the judge was wearing a Santa hat. That would make Aww, me so happy. No. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Moyles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Von Kerber, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would not stand here were I not completely prepared? Oh my gosh, uh, right. Uh, my that really is scary. What? <laughs> he's using double negatives. That really is scary. <laughs> Please. Hear me. He's even got the judge scared. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a brave boy. Your <laughs> opening statement. Please. You don't have to point it out. <laughs> Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? I think, of course, uh, that should be fine. No sick turn about musical reference. <laughs> the prosecution may call the first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Yeah, a royal pain in my ass. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> How am I supposed to fight against this? I don't know. Try your best. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> Pray. I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay. Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Richard Gumshoe. Richard Gumsneaker. Just Detective suede shoes. Describe the incident now. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Mm, uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. 
At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boats started to move. Ghost it boat. went towards ghost the boat, boat rental shop. Ghost boat. Ghost, ghost boat. boat. Ghost boat. Ghost boat. Ghost boat. Ghost boat. Ghost boat. Ghost boat. <laughs> hmm. A ghost boat. <laughs> I see. Overhead map added to the court record. Overhead map of Gord Lake. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now. Wait, Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling this proceedings. <laughs> Fuck no. Wrong. There is only uh, one thing uh? you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Uh, yes, uh, of course. You're quite right. You're my bitch. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. No, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Um. Ow. Okay. Just press. Press. Hold it! You received a call from a man? Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Objection! Oof. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There's more than one person on this earth? Holy shit. Revelation to me. <laughs> there were two witnesses. <clears throat> Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping. A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is, get there quick. Objection, that's stupid. Detective! You will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. No! <laughs> oh, so much to look forward to these days. This is no time for detected daydreaming. Dejected, detected, de de. We found his weakness, he can't! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Y yes, sir. Hold it! What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him, then? Well... It's all mysterious and handsome? <laughs> from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Objection. Detective, 
The court requires the facts, not oh. your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective. Facts. Please don't hit me. Yes, sir. No, just wait a year for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're gonna... Woo. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, he's got his share of objections. Yeah, so do you. Shut up. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? Because that's my homeboy. My bestie. You should know. We have a deep, trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Objection. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep? Trusting? Poppycock. Yeah, I also said deep. I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. No now. And whose body was it? Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge. Here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. Pistol bullets added to the court record, found in the victim's body, fired from a twenty-two caliber pistol. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? Yeah, this slingshot. He did a slingshot with the bullet. It's so... <clears throat> a pistol. Detective Gumshoe? That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. That's not- that wasn't me really tutting. Not. That was not a laugh, dumbass. That was really not a laugh. No. No. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? How was about that? Order! Order! So, Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accepted into evidence. Pistol added to the court record. The murder weapon, 22 caliber, fired three times, bears prints from Edgeworth's right hand. Members of the court. We now have the pistol used in the murder, and the bullet found in the body. Detective? Y yes, sir? Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Y yes. The ballistic markings of the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. You're fucked, man. <laughs> You're so fucked. You're gonna... He, he, you're so screwed. What does he mean? Ballistic markings. Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic 
as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me! Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Same voice. <laughs> same person doing it. Um, same expression. Um, um, ballistic markings are like fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was, without a doubt, fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered in the defendant's own fingerprints. It's an order! <laughs> Judge okay. went to space. <laughs> <laughs> This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. That's literally the point. <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Well, Judge? I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... <laughs> You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess. Which will last- Recess? Ten minutes. Judge. Uh, uh, yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now. <sighs> but wait, I- just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Yes! Ahem. <clears throat> this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? December 26th, 11 Ten minutes later. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Oh, never mind. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. I think we've established that, yes. <laughs> Your prints were on, we're on the, the gun. gun! I was in a daze! Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? If I tell you, you're gonna be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to promise not to get mad, right? <laughs> yes. It was me! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> God, where's Max when you need him? What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? <sighs> I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then... The other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Hmm. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya? Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry, it's no good. <laughs> Damn. Go 
God, I know. Dear, what is wrong with you? I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? I can't call my sister. I might as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're useless. <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Don't you dare. I would never. How dare you? Say it. No! <laughs> Say the line, Mark. No, I need no. you here. No, don't. Please, say, say no, say no, say no, say no, say no, please. Say no, please. Don't be more of a jerk than you already are. <laughs> <laughs> the begging, like, no, please don't be an asshole. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Well, everyone has their off days. Like right now, I'm about to make Edward go to prison. <laughs> because of you! <laughs> I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Well, right? Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh? Oh! So sorry. Whoops. I forgot you had one of those. <laughs> Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, all your witness. Yes. Great. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Handsome. Yeah. Lotta Hart, you're a research student at a university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners! <laughs> no. Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. Y'all listen up now. No, no, no. Say it, please. <laughs> That's Deborah's job after this stream. Uh, it was after, it was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. Yeah, it was after midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. Not a dang thing. <laughs> there were nary a thing on that lake but the boat. There was an, then there was another. <laughs> <laughs> and no. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Accept it as evidence. Well, uh, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder! How much about the Oh, how about the Order! I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately! As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on that lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order! 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 I will have order! No. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> we do what we want. You're not a real dad, it's fine. <laughs> well, Judge? Then the evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. 
Very well. This court finds the defendants. Objection! Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? In this economy? <laughs> Fuck no. We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or, do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Mm. Uh. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then, I will have you held in contempt of court. Um, Nick? Contempt? Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Except the key word is the one that I don't understand there, and I, I, do, uh, I don't get it. I don't this get wasn't it. Taught in school. We, I didn't. In the uh, school I totally went to up in the mountains, you know. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the vaccine testimony? Uh, no, not really. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Y yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. What size waste of time would you be able to put up with, do you think? Like, where's our cap? Gargantuan? Large? <coughs> Perhaps even gold. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, yes. Objection. That feels like a really stupid thing to pull it out. <laughs> I know you want to find contradictions, but really. Zachinator20, thank you for the follow. Oh. I hope you enjoy your time. Woo, woo, woo. I Wait. Hold on. Huh? Not yet. Not yet. There's still some left. Hold on. I know what you're checking, and I don't know how many. Seven? Huh? How many I... followers till the funny number? Oh. Uh, I, I, hold on. I downloaded a different tab. <laughs> sorry, this is important. This is important. This is important to find vital... out. Zach, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> a vital contradiction. Oh, nine. Nine? Nine. nine. Dang, nine more, nine more. Okay. Nine more. Your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Yeah, sorry, Your Honor, that was important. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, continue your testimony. Good. <clears throat> I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't think this was a, was this a press everything as well, or was it just like? Yes, press everything. Damn. There are no contradictions. Juan Carlos oh, yeah, and then you have to. And then you have to. Right. I know how the story goes. I remember what's going on. <laughs> Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press further. Press further, press further. <clears throat> Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? <clears throat> no. Shut up. Okay. 
What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. W wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then, say it already. Objection sustained. Good boy. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. So you weren't looking at the lake at the time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. Objection. Shush. She said that already. You shush! You shush! You I, shush! You shush! I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? No, it isn't. I'm asking if I'm you asking saw if them. You saw them. Uh -oh. I have to tie my hair up. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Your precious widow contradictions. Precious widow contradictions. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, <laughs> Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. On Karma, I think I hate you. <laughs> Thank you, I work hard to maintain that image. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I'm sure about that. <laughs> yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? Hmm. It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Hmm. Uh-uh. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. <laughs> What's happening, my dude? Uh, we're playing Turnabout Goodbyes, and we're on the first day of trial, and, uh, we are members of the cast of Turnabout Musical Virtual Edition, and for the most part, we're playing our characters, except for some people we had to have uh, sub in, because uh, our actors aren't here, which is extra fun. Yeah. Mm. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. It's what I'm... Um... Sustained. Yes, of course. Good boy. Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, Your Honor... You keep your promise. Mr. Wright... I'm afraid that I will have to penalise any further outbursts. By holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? 
Uh, uh huh. Good boy. Nick! Lotta's testimony is fishy, Nick! Real fishy! I. I know what you mean. But. If I can't say anything, what can I do? Beat the shit out of him! Beat the shit out of him! It'll be funny! I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Moyles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Hold it! Who was that? There's two options here! It was me! Sorry? It was me! Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... 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 Is something wrong? D do you need to use the facilities? Yes, because I would say hold it to use the bathroom. <laughs> no, I do not! <laughs> That's so diminutive! Very funny. Lot of heart! Your testimony stinks! And when something's- not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't whether you are actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth! And that's with the lung! <laughs> this is a matter of life or death! Ugh. Lana! I'm gonna keep yelling at myself! <laughs> this is practice for tomorrow! I was gonna say, I was literally about to say, this is practice for tomorrow! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down! No, you will stand the down! The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst! I don't have a chair! How am I supposed to sit stand down? <gasps> Answer me, Lotta! What's the big idea? I went to Kitaro! You got to Kitaro, goddammit! <laughs> What's the big idea? Treat me like some kind of criminal! I saw him! I swear it! I saw it work! Objection! Enough! Judge, Thank you. <laughs> declare the defense in contempt of court. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. Yeah. Gatherock! Oh my gosh! Hi! Hello. Hi, Gav! Hello, Gav, Hi, Gav. and friends. Hi, Gav. Hello! Hi! Wait! We're playing Turn About Goodbyes. Um, and we're in court, and we're at the fun part. We're not at the, we we're the first are three. in court, man. Yeah. Hi, everybody! Hello! Um, hello, 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 hello. In hello. case you don't know us, um, we're the uh, cast of Turn About Musical... Well, we're members of the cast of Turn About Musical Virtual Edition, um, which is... Uh, another version of Turnabout Musical that's happening alongside the version that uh, Gav is in. Um, hi! <laughs> and in this call is in Tam as well. That's true! Like, everyone, I think everyone in this call is involved in Tam in yeah. some capacity. Yes, we are. Yeah! yeah. Um, I'm one of the uh, music people for Tam and one of the creative team. That counts! <laughs> that counts! Yes, absolutely counts. It absolutely counts. <laughs> I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Gav, it's been like 45 minutes. Mine aren't firing either. Go rest, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Nick is innocent. So is Edward, but this is more important right now. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Bitch. What's the difference? They're both played by the <laughs> All that remains is the guilty verdict to be declared. I will be surprised and delighted every time. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That wasn't... That was not in the testimony. Sorry, it, my yeah, phone it's... is lagging right now. <laughs> I love when it delays on, like, big moments and it's just like... Really? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. 
No. Sorry, this is a Wendy's. Sorry, this is a Wendy's. You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. What? Miss Lana Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But he's in contempt of court. No, I am. Then why are you still uh. here? <laughs> if you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Makes no difference to me, sure. <laughs> Very well. More you <laughs> I'll go back to jail. I've done it before. You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick! I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. M Maya. Whee! Whee! In dark times, you I show so no fear. <laughs> Something in my mouth. There <laughs> was a hair in my mouth. Uh, I, I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I can hear the witness. Of the, I can hear the music in the back of my head. <laughs> I'm running out of time. I'd better find a contradiction in here, or else. Mr. Roy, begin your cross-examination. <laughs> I saw what I saw. <laughs> I saw a clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Present the photo. I don't know why I pressed oh. first. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the other man? Shut up. More dialogue. You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore- Oh, I fucked up! I fucked up! I actually fucked up! I actually fucked up! I actually fucked up! He said the one- So what's the one thing I asked you to do? I can't squander my- Alright, present the phone. Alright, alright, don't fuck it up this time! Seriously, Nick? Seriously? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so actually it's okay. embarrassed. There's nothing I can I see. Say Hold on. That's it. Gotcha. Gotcha, Miss Hart. Finally. Ta! Nice. Ah! He said the live bar. He said, he said the live bar. He said the thing. You got what? Look at this photo. Look, Look at this, this photograph! The photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. You ever played Persona 4, Miss Hart? <laughs> no. Are we all playing Persona 5? We are playing Persona 5, baby! Let's go! Oh, what? Hey! Plug, 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 plug! So... So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? I was, why the fuck were they talking about Persona? This is... <laughs> That's a point. Objection? No, he doesn't. <laughs> That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course! I said I could, and I meant...
friends I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I actually did it. I did it. <laughs> I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. I forgot she didn't get this up that easy again. Mm. You're, you're right. It was a cold night, and the fog was as thick as grits. Am I gonna go do that? Uh, so once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. You used binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. I promise it won't be. Let's go. <laughs> See, I... <sighs> it's either... It's one of the last two where it's like, why the fuck did you bring them? Yeah. I'm gonna press it first, just to be yeah. safe. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars! This has been an informative discussion. <laughs> Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Uh, well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? I've got some doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? Objection! The camera is irrelevant to this case, except for the fact that it took the very important photograph I'm hinging my whole case on. Don't worry about it. You can't say that for certain. Hmm. Mr. Roy? Is the camera really relevant to this case? You believe it is? You may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. You want to get punished, Mr. Wright? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright. Do you? <laughs> do you wish uh... to press further about the camera? Uh... Yes. <laughs> Remember, it's pointed at the lake, not the sky. <laughs> your shower. This is make it or break it time. Bye, Zach. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Bye. <laughs> the camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow. Maybe I went a little overboard there. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's Jarman. <laughs> the camera was set up to take photos of a meteor shower. No, because it has no. a mic on it. Star, as much as the Transformers would like to convince you otherwise, stars don't scream. <laughs> I'm funny. <Objection. laughs> you were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. S says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upward to take photos of the sky, Miss Hart. Or the stars, Miss Hart. Oof! 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 <sighs> right. What are you-
you driving at? I don't have a license. I can't drive. Got the, witness, the witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well, then, what exactly was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? What, you instructed Gordy. What was Ms. Hart trying to, to photograph the lake? Gordy. Gordy. Miss Hart. This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? You were trying to photograph the newspaper? No. What? No. no. What? <laughs> Gordy? Oh, the sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about the fact that, uh, apparently the Loch Ness Monster, when people kept thinking they saw the Loch Ness Monster, they were actually looking at whale penises. <laughs> I'm just thinking back I don't on get that I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I still have proof. I have it. Proof. Hmm. Intriguing. Very well. Let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. I hit the wrong button one time, Your Honor. Jesus. What is proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? Yeah. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Ah! Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here, taken when a gun fired on the lake. You know what it looks like? It looks like one of those, um... I don't know if anyone in this room has played Delta Room. It looks like one of the, like, jigsaw pe Like, the white highlights on the lake looks like the jigsaw pieces. The old Puzzle Masters. Mm. And it's got, like, the face. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article... According to this article. <clears throat> Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well? You were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you set your camera to respond to loud noises. How's Pash Pash? How did you do it? How did you do it? What? See. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. <gasps> Tiger Murder! Hello, hello! Tigle. Hey, buddy! Hello, Tiger. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was trying. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? What? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that she is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. 
Hey! And also that I can't read. The fact, what is it? The facts are clear. I can't read. <laughs> but, as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. Because it's stupid. <laughs> but what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart? Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. <laughs> Because Von Karma's looking for Gordy, too. Right. Fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. Something has changed within me. Within me. And I'm going to spot it. I have... I have a theory about Gordy that I can't talk about because spoilers. I will try and remember to talk about it when we get to that point in the, in the case. I am very excited to hear it. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. <laughs> Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. I love the fact that this case, for some reason, makes me forget how to pronounce photographer or photography. Well, I, also, I was reading it and it was actually loading, but I wasn't sure. If it, I thought I was going to say photojournalist because she's a photojournalist and turned about. Yeah. yeah. And she said photographer. photographer. And I was like, okay. No, well, photographer it is. Photographer. No, that's, that's what it is now. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> that's why I was camping out by the lake. <laughs> but that's all I was hiding. Can I can I get a read on what Tycho just said in chat? Potato giraffe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time. Cross my heart and hope to fry. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Objection. Fuck no. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh, hmm. Objection! I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma's up to something, I know it. She doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Was there a contradiction? Fucking obviously, what do you mean? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! <laughs> that would be a first. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. You understand that this is your last... last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. We're gonna hope the person in control doesn't fuck it up this time. It's me. I'm the person in control. Hello. I don't remember what it is. Man, lying about pointless shit that doesn't even matter to lie about? I wonder why I've heard that before. It was, uh, 
looking straight out at the lake, I think, because she was like, and I, I scanned it. And I heard the bang, it. I looked right straight at... It, I think it's... Yeah. I, I think it's oh, specifically fuck. because she looked straight out at the boat. Exactly what anywhere else. Mm, yeah. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper sound than I would have expected. Hmm. <laughs> there it is, probably. That's the, that's the one. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there, I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Oh? It's just like, hey. The fuck about Gordy, dude? Hey, Gordy. Hey, 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 Lotta, hey. Objection! Miss Hart! Were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. <laughs> we don't talk about Gordy. No, 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 I was parked no. out by the lake, 80 miles from Santa Fe. I was sitting there just parked out by the lake. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. If you're wondering where I parked, <laughs> it's parked out by the lake. I agree. Any normal person would. The lake that's 80 miles from Santa Fe. But you are far from normal. Fucking rude. That is so rude. That is so rude. What? Y'all want to step over here and say that? I will throw hands. <laughs> Tell straight to my face. Right here, right here. Come on, let's fight. You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. No. <laughs> no. What I would don't you do? Wanna. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy. That's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Oh God, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this is a what? new football. Continue, Mr. Roy. Both characters I play. Ah. <laughs> Oh shit! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, wow. Whoa! 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 What's the oh my gosh! Ga oh, no. Hi! Thank you! Uh, Game Grammar, thank you so much for the 20 person raid! Oh my gosh! Hi! Oh, my gosh. Goodness hi. gracious! <laughs> awesome! Hi! Thank you! Um, for people just coming in, um, we are on the uh, first day of trial of uh, Turnabout Goodbyes. Uh, <laughs> um, we are. Uh, near the end, and, uh, the, uh, a <laughs> little bit, and, um, uh, the people playing are, uh, members of the cast of Turnabout Musical Virtual Edition. Mario Gamer number one, thank you so much for the follow, I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, uh, <laughs> we are Giro Productions, um, we're doing Turnabout Musical Virtual Edition, and, uh, here's some cast members, we're all playing the parts that we actually play in the show. Um, Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's so nice of you. Uh, uh, Game Grammar, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, uh, Robin, did you say the, the light or not? I got distracted. <laughs> I, have, I, I have not. We all got distracted. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Got okay. Oh. You, you testify that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Uh. 
Well. Hmm. Well, now that y'all mention it. I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Sort? Uh, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just... I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat. Till now. Bitch. 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 <laughs> this is totally uncalled for. But, but hey. You got the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who in this. Who in this? So I can't even speak. <laughs> right. This is totally bumpkiss, dog. <laughs> That's why I took this photo in. Objection. Well, we have an objection. Hi, Von Karma. How are, uh, how is everybody in chat doing today? There are a lot of you now. How are you, how are you guys all doing? I heard you guys came from another uh, Ace Attorney stream. Witness? Ooh. That's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? You want to come over here and fight? Oh, oh, you think I can't fight, Miss Hart? You you think I could oh, not I, take I anybody in this courtroom? I could. I don't. You want to go? You want to find out the hard way? Oh, I, I would. Yeah, you want to go? You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> what was she going to say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality it might, but should let us see who who's who. <laughs> Goodness. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? Because it's bad for my case. Come on! I've got a hunch. I bet that large photo shows something bad for Von Karma. Yes, exactly! <laughs> this is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth. Or worse. I mean, if you fuck the- it, it doesn't matter. He's probably gonna go for the anyway. Show the Show enlargement you. to the court. <laughs> yes. Show, show the photo enlargement. Show pills. the enlargement. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. This photograph. I'm, I'm gonna make, make that joke every time. <laughs> I only make it once per stream. Uh, I have to cover. I have to cover it for you. <laughs> you enlarged this photograph, did you not? I yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Makes someone feel insecure. Mmm. Because it does not exist. It, it makes it makes them insecure. I will kick what? your ass. I will kick your ass. Do you want to go? No, do you want to go? Do you want to go right now? You want to go? Wanna go? Wanna go I will, right I will right fight now? you we right now. I said order! <laughs> Please continue. Please continue right now before I lose it, okay? What are y'all talking about? I think we've already lost it, Your Honor. You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. <laughs> you old fool. Are you gonna fight the judge now? Oh no, I was talking about you. Oh, I will <clears throat> kick your ass too. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, um... I told y'all it makes him feel insecure. <laughs> Ms. Hart. 
Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Objection. No. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. <laughs> the witness will show the enlargement to the court. <laughs> Here it is. Look at how big oh. this enlargement is. Oh. It makes it feel insecure. Hmm. <sighs> we still cannot see who is firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Y yeah, those are. I don't even know where. Your Honor. <laughs> Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Lake photo added to the court record, taken automatically on 12.25 at 12.15 a.m. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Uh, has to be something. Yes, I'm very satisfied with how this has continued. <laughs> you asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. <laughs> And little good it has done any of us. <laughs> That's why I requested she not show it. I suppose this means that the cross-examination... Is over. Obviously. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Remember when that was said in between the songs? Nothing, yeah. of course. Yes, that was a good song. It was a good song. It was a banger. Song. I, thank you. The creepy Latin choir really sold it. I know. Th yeah. I, I, yes, I worked. Real banger. I worked really hard oh. to teach them Latin. It was we had this whole thing going. They've been doing it for years. I'm really proud of how, how far they've yeah. come. Very good. <laughs> then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. A left-hander. Mm -hmm. This is bad. Real bad. What should I do? Object to the enlargement. Ah. Uh. Abby! Abby! Oh. Abby! <laughs> Abby! This is a flagrant waste of time. <laughs> this is a flagrant waste of time. <laughs> I suggest it be taken out of the show and put in a high school musical high three. School <laughs> There is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What? What might that be? Mr. Roy! You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Uh, how are we doing, gamers? Okay, here goes nothing. Doing good. Doing okay. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. The, the hands. hands! The handy wandy. Handy wandy. Handy wandy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna call it from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. If it was Miles Edgeworth, he would be holding my hand. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. The autopsy reports. <laughs> so I got three, three. It's the gun because it's got the oh, that's right true. Hand. Oh fuck yeah. Oh yeah, right, the gun. What Wonder Man, you lied to me. <laughs> what the fuck? I trusted you. <laughs> the evidence is clear. 
The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo. <gasps> right. I stole, I stole Miles' word there. Babe. The man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Have a special better boo. Have a have a have a bad have a boo. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. This is a court of law, remember. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? <laughs> you have given us definitive proof today. I'm surely you'd see the cravat and the enlargement if it was. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendants could have shot the victim? Larry! Larry! <laughs> the victim himself. Sorry, I was, so, I was, I was so focused on the Larry Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's Larry? <laughs> yeah, Larry. There's only one explanation remaining. I mean, with our double cast. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Oh god. In both ways. It Harry Potts is guilty. Both ways. Uh, <laughs> the man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. How's first? Wait, what was that about, Larry? <laughs> Order? Order? So, you were saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I have- I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed. Slip that slide. does seem like- seem to be the only remaining option. Objection! I am so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. Uh, what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which she was shot. The distance? Mm, going the distance. He's going for speed. The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. One might even, even say 36, 36 inches. inches. There's n there is Can no way it could have been suicide. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Autopsy report added to the updated in the court record. Time of death sometime on the 24th or 25th. Shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm. Oh, I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. This is a sticky situation. Indeed. Therefore, <laughs> I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. 
That is all. This court is adjourned. December 26th, 1.15 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew, that was a close one. Hey. Hey. Don't you have anything to say? What a wonderful cat today. <laughs> no, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well... Yeah, but... What happened out there on that lake, anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who... The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look! I did not kill him! I did not! You did not. I was just <laughs> kidding around. Thank you! Look, I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell, tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Would it kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks, Edward? Give her this face. She'll know what it means. <laughs> I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lotta's deposition. No. <laughs> Added to the court record. I heard two I heard two gunshots. No, I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight on twelve twenty five. To be continued. To be continued. Yay. Uh, Yay, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. I will ask. All right. I will oh, ask the go crew. Go ahead, Katie. Um, we do still have a little bit of time. Do we want to start the investigation phase? Or do we want to call it here? Um, did you, did you call it? Uh, you want to call it? All right, we'll call it. Yeah, let, let's just call it. That's true. <laughs> we did a really That's good true. presentation. You, I, I, I'm gonna have you guys talking for a while today. Um, I got a lot of that tomorrow night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> everyone, everyone, pray for Archer's voice. Um, so. We're going to stop here today, um, and uh, next week, hopefully, if scheduling works out, we're going to start the day two of investigation phases of Turn About Goodbyes. Um, what, what else is going on this week? Um, tomorrow night, um, Archer and I are continuing Your Turn to Die, Chapter 31B, on the, uh, nice. on the logic route. Um, yes. Wednesday afternoon wednesday afternoon um archer and i are starting persona 5 royal um <laughs> thursday hopefully um i will finish chapter three of danganronpa trigger happy havoc with my friend max who's also in turn about musical virtual edition <laughs> and friday <laughs> maybe some fall guys or dead by daylight or something uh or some jackbox there's a new jackbox thing out i think yeah. Um, nice. And Saturday night, more Persona 5 Royal. Uh, I should probably post that schedule somewhere instead of just needing to say it verbally every time. I will work on that. But uh, until next time, um, do you guys have anything you would like to say before we call it? No. Zelch. I'm a nothing man. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I did have something cool to say, but I don't. Um, yeah. Uh, and I will say, go follow Giro Productions on yes! social media. 
Uh, we are at Giro. Th I will throw it in chat very quickly. We are at Giro Theater on Twitter. Um, there we go. Uh, on uh, TikTok, there are a few TikToks you can follow. Um, I believe. Oh God, if I can remember which is which. I, I have I have the Turnabout Musical TikTok and Giro TikTok flips. Um, I believe it's Giro Productions official on TikTok. Um, yeah, I, I think so. That's it. I think so. Oh, I got you. And if you want to learn more about um, Turnabout Musical in general, there is a link tree uh, that you can go to. That was the incorrect link. Don't, don't do that. Well, what if I just... Nope, it's just Gear Official. It's just Gear Productions. No oh. official. Oh. Gear just... Productions Official is Giro... on Instagram. That's true. Gear Productions Official is Instagram. Uh, Gear Productions on TikTok. I lied. Uh, point is, I know, we're fakes. Um, <laughs> there's the link tree. So if you want to learn more liars. about Turnabout Musical, there's the link tree. Um... Which has links to previous productions, the production package, the TED Talk that uh, Max made years ago, and is still one of my favorite things, um, uh, to the uh, TAM YouTube page, where, uh, if you know Gavarok, uh, that's the production that uh, Gav is in, um, and Giro Productions also has a YouTube channel, which has the first part of Turnabout Goodbyes Up. Uh, you can just search Giro Productions on YouTube, and it'll come up. This VOD will also be there soon. Yeah. I've said a lot of words at you. Uh, that's it. Um, so, uh, uh, until next time, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. And we, all of you, maybe, will see you next week. Arj and I will see you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye. Bye.